What is up, YouTube? Give you guys a real insight of my life right now and how much of a fucking mess it is. Because in the last like two months, probably, I have been home for longer than five days, maybe, if that. You've just been like traveling and like I was supposed to have like five weeks off travel for sponsors and work, so I booked a trip by myself and then. While I was on that trip, they asked me to do two more events. I didn't know what I was gonna do, so then I had two more weeks I had to work after that, and it's just been hectic. So I haven't been home for like, ever. <clears throat> now, I've been home now for three days, and I fly out tomorrow to LA for a Gymshark shoot, so the bullshit continues. And in this process, I've when since I've been home this time, I've had to like, call my accountant, get all my taxes, forms, receipts everything ready and then I had to go in and get that done which took a while I've gone to look at like four apartments because I'm trying to move out my neck's been fucked giving me migraines so I went to see my chiropractor Dr. Pank which I can actually show you a little video he always always saved my life after I've been traveling around planes for a while I go into my neck just like locked up and everything so he Cracked my neck, cracked my back, helped immediately, and then I actually went back in again yesterday. I've seen him twice since I've been back, and he kind of worked on like tearing open my biceps. And just trying to like strip them, massage them, whatever, and like, cause I've always said my biceps are so tight at the bottom of the insertion because they're so short, and I think that's part of the problem inhibiting me from growing. So we've been trying to open that up, and yeah, I also had to take my car in to get serviced, and then I had like four appointments to catch up with so I've probably had four appointments a day since I've been back and believe it or not actually been busy who the fuck could have guessed I also this is probably the longest time in I don't know maybe like five years that I haven't gotten a haircut in like this long so it's been like five weeks since I've had a haircut so that's pretty bad and as you can see my house is kind of a shit show so I came back and there was a bunch of Gymshark stuff that I had just opened. My knee sleeves, I'll tell you about those. That, that was a funny story. I'm trying to pack for LA. I literally, again, did this again. Took all my stuff out. When I got home, put it in the washing machine. It's in the dryer right now, and it's going back in the bag. On top of that, I have some moving boxes and shit. I'm trying to pack my stuff up to get ready to go. And yeah, just a bunch of shite going on in my life right now. But... To talk about this funny thing, if you guys are following my story, I've been working really hard to clean my knee sleeves. Which they smell pretty good right now, believe it or not. So, I did two methods, because I have two pairs of them, and they smell really bad, like disgusting. As soon as they got cold, they smelled okay, but then I started working out on them, the stench just like leaked up my legs and it was really gross. So it was those ones, if you saw my story, I put them in a pot of boiling water, literally just kind of like stirred it a little bit, and in the process I filled my sink up with hot water, and I covered them in vinegar and I let them sit in the boiling water for like 10 minutes and then I put them in the sink of hot water soaking in vinegar for like I don't know how long, maybe an hour and then I put them in my washing machine let me see if I can show yeah so this right here this little slot it says to put bleach in there and I actually filled that up with vinegar whether you're supposed to do that or not, but I covered that in vinegar and I poured some more vinegar on them. I turned the heat on high and I put it through the washing machine twice. <clears throat> so that's what I did for those ones. They smell decent right now. We'll have to see when I work out and heat them up a little bit. The second pair are in my messy ass freezer because I heard that, I haven't even smelled these ones yet actually, but everyone was telling me that putting them in the freezer like kills the bacteria, or neutralizes the smell or some shit, and it's supposed to help your shoes as well and stuff. So, put them in a bag so I can get my food nasty, but I'll smell these ones right now. They don't smell like anything actually, which again, they always smell bad when they heat up while I'm training and I'm getting sweaty, so. I'll give those a shot too and let you guys know the results. My memory card just filled up their mid sentence, but yeah, that was the most fun I've been having all week. Fucking with my knee sleeves. I'm gonna give you guys a weight update because I feel like I haven't done this in a while. I don't believe it's time for a physique update yet because I ain't showing that shit in full off season right now, but maybe in a few weeks or so. So I think when I left last, I weighed 252 pounds in the morning. 
And by the way, right now I just woke up. Obviously, nothing in my hair looks like fucking bedhead, and I've eaten nothing, and I haven't even drank any water, which is unlike me. I need to go chug water after this. But this is holding, wearing a sweater, holding a camera. Let's see. Guys. So 260 wearing this, maybe three to four pounds. So let's say I'm like 256, 257 right now. It's not bad. I'll take it. I said I wanted to be, last year I didn't want to be over 25 pounds over my stage weight, which is 255. <clears throat> this year, I was easy to diet down from that weight. So I figured I'll try and get up to 260 and then kind of hang out around there, maybe try and get a little bit leaner 260, kind of fluctuate between 258 and 262 if I can. So I think they're looking pretty good for that. 256 right now, I'm probably not going to start prep till mid to late June. So I still have April, May, bit of June, two and a half months to put on like four pounds. So off season looks good. So I'm just making a bigger mess in the kitchen, but still eating some good old pancakes just about every day when I'm still home for breakfast because it's just the most delicious way to get in four eggs and 100 grams of oats so why the hell not but I've also been putting fruit on top so I have blueberries and raspberries <clears throat> also whenever I'm on the road and I'm like eating or I'm at a hotel and they have like breakfast or like something it's always literally just like gross oatmeal and like scrambled eggs that I'm eating. So when I come home, I just don't really feel like eating eggs. So, blessed art thou pancakes. So what I like to do for the fruit is I put it in the microwave for a little bit because it kind of gets some of the juices out of it and just, it matches, I'll put all that, and it matches like the heat of the pancakes a little bit. Just Tastes better. It's honestly best to do this if you have frozen berries. I used to always do it. If you get frozen blueberries and you just put a cup full in the microwave, they turn into like like a blueberry like sauce, like liquidy with some chunks. So I literally just put them in a mug, however much you want. I really don't care how much I eat right now. I put it in the microwave for about a minute, maybe. Touch it if it's cold, a little bit longer. And I just pour it on top of the pancakes. And For some reason, these just never get old. I literally just dump the fruit on there and eat away. I also put a little bit of syrup over top of it all just to make it a little more sweet, you know, why not? When I was at Courtney's in Chicago, she has this like monk fruit sweetener or something like that. It's like a bougier, better for you version of stevia, I think. Zero calorie sweetener or low calorie sweetener. I don't even know. I, didn't, I don't ask questions when she gives me stuff that tastes good. I just eat it. But it was like, you get a powder or in drop form, and she had like the powders, and I would sprinkle it on top of the pancakes, and with fruit on there, it just, that's all I have to say. So I found out my foam fits perfectly in the gap between my steering wheel and, well, inside my steering wheel. So now I can vlog without holding my camera, and technically not get in trouble, you're just gonna see the camera tilting with the steering wheel as you I feel very innovative right now, sorry. But just got back from my haircut. I've been keeping it very simple. You can't even see my face, I guess. But I kind of haven't been going as hardcore skin phase on the sides. The top doesn't slick back anymore. It just kind of falls down. Honestly, out of pure laziness, I don't really like having to get my hair ready in the morning. I'm not a guy who will ever fucking blow dry my hair in the morning or anything like that. So if I can just like wake up, wet it and push it down, and it looks fine. That's probably what I'm gonna stick with. So this is my hairstyle for now. And I actually showed up to my appointment like an hour early, so I had to go kill time. But I had to get a set of headphones anyways because sadly I lost my beats and I can't work out without noise canceling headphones. It's something that like I will always spend money on is stuff that like contributes to my workout and whatever, that life. So I just got another pair of beats. I got the all black ones this time. So they'll actually match with all my beat kicks. No color clashing anymore. So it kind of worked out for the better in the end. So I normally am a person, as you guys, if you follow me, I only eat rice. And the main reason I really only eat rice is my carbs is out of 
simplicity, how easy it is to make and store. You just make like a huge batch of rice, put it in your fridge, and it'll last you like a few days, so it's very easy. But lately I got on a sweet potato train because it just tastes a little bit better, and I decided to stop being super lazy. But because I'm still extremely lazy and I refuse to cut a sweet potato because they're so hard, and I refuse to bake it because it takes way too long, my method of baking them, making them, is I just poke a bunch of holes in them, like this, with a fork, and that's good just to open it up, so actually a little bit more in the skin. I don't know how much it helps, but what I do online is what I do. So do that, and then, they sell like actual potato like cloth, I believe, to cook it, or you can use like a dish cloth or something, wrap it up, but I've just been using a uh, paper towel, because it's less mess, and again, I'm really lazy, so I literally just wrap it up like that, and then, Then you just kind of wet the whole cloth so that it's like stuck on it like that. And I literally just put this whole thing in the microwave like that for about, when I do two, I do nine minutes. When I do one, it's a little bit less. It doesn't really matter. You just go until a knife can poke through it really easily. The more I actually talk about the things I do and explain why I'm doing them, I quickly realize that almost 90% of the stuff I do in my life is just out of pure laziness, like keeping my hair shorter, not to main, to do it, eating rice all the time, easier to make, putting my potatoes in the microwave, even my beard. Lately, because I travel so much, I will only shave my beard when I'm in hotel room bathrooms because the hair gets everywhere and I don't feel like cleaning my sink out. So I literally will only shave and trim it down when I'm in a hotel so the maids can come in and clean it. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty hectic lifestyle I, I live. Just working hard to live lazy. The other beauty I have actually being home is being able to get my trifecta meals that come in. The amount of times I have been out of town and got like a call from someone at my front door saying that I have like a week's worth of food sitting at my front door and I'm like great. And I send like my sister to pick it up or something, put it in the freezer, but it's good to actually be home and get your food. So. Protein wise with this, I'll weigh out that out once it's cooked I guess, just to let you guys know I never weigh my sweet potato because I just eat the whole potatoes that I cook. But protein, I'm gonna have 190 grams, that's what's left, of the turkey patties on Trifecta. If you guys haven't heard me talk about these, this is probably my favorite food item that they have, I guess. The salmon's really good too, the steak's pretty good, chicken's good, but this is just like, I just love turkey patties because they're delicious. So, it's something that makes it really easy, especially when I'm traveling into town, coming home and just having bulk meat sent to me. Not like meal prep technically, but just like the meat. Just makes it a lot easier. Here are the new beets. I actually went to the store, like yesterday, and bought these. And came home and had bought the gray ones, because they looked the exact same on the package. And I was so upset when I opened the box and realized they were the wrong ones. Cause I don't know if I'm the only one, but going into the Apple store, like really stresses me out because there's no line. There's like the desk at the front. You can't wait at to meet people. You're supposed to like just go grab your own item and then you just like stand there holding, like I was just standing there holding this box for like five minutes looking around, waiting to like find someone who works there. They're all dressed in like jeans and casual clothes and like everyone's holding an eye. Their work thing is an iPhone. Everyone's got an iPhone in the store, so. I can never find out who's working there and find if there's a line waiting or if someone's been like waiting for an appointment or whatever. It's just, Apple could do better in my opinion. But, got the black ones, very pretty, matte black. Before I, my old ones I lost were like kind of gold and gray and a little different, which were cool too, but these ones are just simple AF, so love it. Probably gonna put camo ones on these. I always loved the camo, but they just looked weird when I had like gold, gray, silver, and like a bunch of colors on the other one, but with black, everything will match, so God bless. Nice headphones. When you take these out of the microwave, they will be hot as the shit, so be careful. Maybe use gloves, don't be an idiot like me, but if you wanna see how I tell when they're done, these ones I'm pretty sure are done. Literally just, the knife goes through that easily, and you can cut it just like that, and it's like, you can't even see, sorry, I'm missing the camera. 
It's like mashed potato in there. So it ended up being 325 grams of sweet potato. So quite a good amount. You see I just threw it all in there and then I mashed it down with a fork so it's like mashed potatoes. And what I've been doing lately is putting this, you can use normal butter if you just want normal butter. Really, butter is not like bad for you. It's better than margarine, so get real butter. But I've been using ghee butter. It's the dairy is taken out of it, so it's lactose free. It, there's just a cleaner, natural, organic version of butter. And I've been putting a bit of this in it, and it's literally just like making sweet potatoes on Christmas dinner. So, delicious. Also, I'm still obsessed with this Nando's Peri Peri medium sauce. Put that on here to make it a little spicy. I go between using that and ketchup on here, but lately, hot sauce has been winning, so yeah. I feel like I haven't eaten food on my channel in a long time, so. You guys have probably missed this. Four o'clock now, approximately, and gonna head to the gym and train chest, I believe. Been putting this back in lately, which <clears throat> I didn't do it for a long time, and I, ra I ran out of the bottle with a label of this, even just the other day, but this is MHP's Dark Matter. And actually, let me see. Let's see if I have another bottle of it somewhere, because I have so much shit lying around this apartment. And I do, but it's a different flavor. So I'm not nearly as good as I think I'm aiming the camera, but this is what I've been having intro workout. Lately in my off season, I like to put in a carb just when my appetite's actually good and I'm eating a lot and this doesn't kill my appetite or anything. It doesn't, it just flushes right into you. But it's two scoops, it's 50 grams of carbs in here. And there's also 12 grams of protein. So this is actually, one of the few cards, believe it or not, that I can drink mid-workout. I'll have two full scoops of that, so it's 50 grams of carbs while I'm training, and it doesn't get me bloated at all. I don't put, the, I fill up a full shaker cup of water, and I always put ice in it. it. Tastes so much better with ice. So put ice in it. It's not too thick either for that much carbs, and I chug this during my workout. Kind of keeps me full, energy high. Don't get hungry when I've been. I've been at the gym going on a warm up for like. 30 minutes maybe, train for like an hour, maybe chill for a bit, do some abs, 10, whatever. And then I can have this and I don't get starving throughout. Don't get as flat through my workouts. So it's been helping a lot. Have this every single day. Two scoops, dark matter. Trying to get huge. And we're going to train chest. But there is no we because we all know I have no friends. So if no one's at the gym to film me, then I'm gonna post an old workout from when I was in Chicago with Corny training legs. A pretty hectic leg day. I kinda of wanna share it anyways. My first time squatting over four plates. So I put five plates over four and a half, whatever. I put five plates on the bar and actually felt relatively easy. So really happy about that. I'm not gonna lie, my knees have been a little bit sore since. <laughs> but so have a few deload workouts, not going quite as heavy, but it felt really good to get under that bar and just like feel so confident with 500 pounds on your back again. So I'm really happy about that. As long as I can keep playing it safe, my legs will return like they were in 2016 when they were huge. So hopefully you can get those back. And yeah, I'll show you this leg day because it was a long, gruesome leg day. I think it was like a two hour workout. Given it took me an hour to squat because it takes me a long time to warm up to that kind of weight. So a full hour with just getting to that squat and then it was like another hour of training. So enjoy that workout.
So there's still a little bit of salt on the ground. So I drove my car around and I didn't want salt lying on it when I would go away for like a week or so. So getting a car wash and how efficient I'm trying to be with my time right now. Me on the car while I wait. I have a problem lately just sitting and like doing nothing and waiting for things, which is not really good, I guess, but <clears throat> I know I gotta get home and I got a lot of stuff I gotta do before leaving early tomorrow morning. And I wanna go home and sit and eat for like 20 minutes. So literally getting post-workout meal in. Stopped by a burrito place, got a bowl. It's quinoa, brown rice. I got double chicken, guacamole, and medium salsa. Pretty bomb, if you ask me. So here I am sitting in the car, listening to an audiobook and eating mucho burrito. 9 p.m. and I'm still a mess, frantically getting ready, but I'm pretty much packed. And sadly, that's literally like all I'm bringing, like half the suitcase. You can't even see because it's too dark, but I'm like, I don't know, I brought like four pairs of shirts and two pairs of shorts and a pair of pants. So that's all I'm really bringing. More importantly, I'm getting my food ready while eating again. So post-workout meal was mucho burrito. And then I came back and I had 200 grams of rice and 190 grams of bison, thanks to Trifecta. And right now, this is what I always do. Normally, I don't fly this long, so I only pack one meal. But because it's like an eight hour travel day, I'm packing two meals because normally airport food sucks or you don't have time, your connection, whatever. So yeah, both meals are pretty much the same. That one's just bigger. It's 250 rice, 200 turkey. This is 200 and 200. So a little bit more meat than normal because I probably won't be eating as much. I got a guacamole pack for meal number oh, huh? And yeah, so this is probably what I'm gonna end this video. That's kind of what my life's been like, frantically coming back, trying to get appointments done, and then repacking and re-getting my shit together to go travel again. So I'm gonna make that for a couple more weeks and then hopefully we can settle down this summer and just chill. So peace out, hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe.